Okay, here are my last ribs, which are the ones that are uh, finishing uh, at the root, uh, the top wing and the bottom wing. This is the top wing, uh, making these uh, clamps to good use. Very cool. Uh, what I decided to do for the... These are covered in plywood, uh, one left, one right. So for the one, this one, which will be under this, I decided to install everything inside the jig so the rib is going to be the same shape. And uh, I used these popsicle sticks with uh, crazy glue just to uh, hold it at the correct shape. So when I remove it from the jig, and I'll be able to glue it on a piece of uh, plywood. Okay, now I've put the uh, wide cap strips for the inboard and the fuselage uh, uh, cap strip for the end, the inside and uh, the fuselage ribs. So I'm just using the actual rib itself to get uh, a pretty precise um, bending of them. So as easy as my uh, steamer for the clothing with my expandable aluminum tube with uh, a rag as a cap. It took like uh, 15 minutes, wet them. Those were easy like hell to, uh, to bend, done. Now this is the inboard most uh, rib of the upper wing. The popsicle sticks are holding it at the correct position. Now I've sanded it with the uh, sanding table and now I'm going to be pre-gluing it, sticking it there. This is the lower wing with again the popsicle sticks so I can put the um, plywood on the underside but still have the exact shape because the, the sticks are inside, the cap strips are inside the, the jig. So this is a perfect success. The popsicle sticks hold the shape uh, very stiffly. So now I'll just be able to directly glue this on top of a plywood. Okay, now I'm doing the top wing, the, uh, the center rib, which is plywood covered. So this one has plywood on the exterior now of the jig. So I've reinstalled all the cap strip with the clamps. Now I've installed some uh, piece of metal with some staples, just making sure that everybody stays on the, the jig securely. And it's all with below the surface where I'll be gluing the plywood. Now I can remove the clamps. Uh, of course, I'll pre-wet this. I'll wet down with water the piece of ply that goes here. Or not and okay for this side uh, in an effort to make sure I had really nice joints everywhere I decided to uh, install in two steps first the the because the plywood goes on this side so I raised it with some block so that these plates would be flush with the top here still installed the popsicle sticks so that the the curve would stay the same once dry, I'm going to remove it, install more popsicle sticks on the other side, remove these guys, sand everybody flush, and then put the, the, uh, the plywood on top. This way I have more control. I didn't like the other one. I, uh, I wasn't really seeing what I was doing. Okay, now I'm sanding uh, the... Uh, the back, the area that will be coated now with a piece of plywood and uh, using the my sanding table which is basically a IKEA leftover table which is extremely straight because like it's an assembled uh, cardboard and plywood so it's very very stable and straight with some uh, sandpaper in there and then you could just drag the entire surface of your rib. Makes it really nice and flat everywhere.